Imagine being able to live in temperatures nearing 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or being able to withstand intensely radioactive environments without serious consequences. Earth is amazing for many reasons, and two of the biggest reasons are the fact that it has life and its incredibly wide range of environments. But what is perhaps more amazing is the diversity of life our planet sustains, and the fact that some creatures are able to thrive in places we humans wouldn't last a day in. Let's take a look at some of the most inhospitable places in the world, as well as the creatures that call those places home. Yellowstone National Park is atop a volcanic hotspot, with magma bubbling so close to the surface, the water in the center of its springs has temperatures that reach up to 189 degrees Fahrenheit. Once thought to be empty of life, the hot springs are in fact teeming with microbes that have evolved to thrive in these intense heats. Mariana Trench is the deepest point in all the world's oceans. It is more than 7 miles deep below sea level, where the pressure reaches about 1100 times the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level. At this pressure, proteins literally get bent out of shape and it may seem as if nothing could survive. But researchers found giant amoebas and some oil-eating bacteria thriving in the sedimentary soil collected from the Mariana Trench. Even at the deepest, most pressurized place on Earth, organisms have found ways to survive. Bubbling lakes of hot tar seem like an unlikely place for life, but many of them are teeming with microbes. Pitch Lake in Trinidad is the world's largest naturally occurring pool of boiling asphalt. Most people can't stand to walk barefoot on asphalt that's been sitting in the sun for too long, but in these boiling patches, each gram of the sticky black goo harbors up to 10 million microbes. Known ominously as the gateway to hell, Africa's Danakil Desert is dotted with active lava beds, acidic springs, hydrothermal pools, and salt lakes, making it one of the harshest places to live. Temperatures in this most inhospitable environment rise to as high as 145 degrees Fahrenheit, but even here, life has found a way. And it's been doing so for a while. The bacteria found here are among the most ancient life forms on the planet. Life has also been found thriving in Siberian permafrost, which is more than 5 million years old. Permafrost is a very good preserver of microbes and viruses because it is cold, there is no oxygen, and it's dark. And the life found here could pose a problem for us one day. Scientists have discovered fragments of RNA from the 1918 Spanish flu virus in corpses buried in mass graves in Alaska's tundra. Life may seem impossible at the bottom of an almost two mile deep South African gold mine, where the temperatures reach 140 degrees Fahrenheit. But a type of bacteria has adapted to live here. It has not been in contact with the surface for millions of years, surviving only by eating nutrients from rocks undergoing radioactive decay. The explosion of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is considered to be the worst nuclear disaster the world has ever seen. While the radiation levels were dangerously high for humans, other forms of life inhabit the desolate nuclear reactor. A black fungus was found growing on the inside walls of Chernobyl's damaged and highly radioactive nuclear reactor. The Dead Sea is one of the saltiest bodies of water in the world, thus making it too harsh for most life to thrive here. However, even in the forbidding brine, salt-loving microbes happily thrive. It's often said that where life can evolve, life will evolve. For a long time, it was believed that life could only evolve under certain conditions that were thought to be well understood. But as time has gone on, we've learned that life as we know it isn't necessarily all there is to know. As we find more extreme examples of the shapes life can take here on Earth, we also broaden our horizons in our search for life beyond our little blue planet. <laughs>